Hello everybody and welcome back to another AC on the go video. We are here in Marietta, Georgia and today we are going to be going to KFC. Now you might be thinking everyone has been to KFC. Some of you may like it, some of you may not. I'm in the latter, but <laughs> we are here at the Big Chicken. This thing looks like it's straight out of Monsters, uh, Monsters and Alien versus Alien. Yeah, we're actually across the street in the old Kmart parking lot. You can see the beak is moving, the eye is spinning. This is an iconic. Or is it the beak, or is it the eye is spinning? I just said, didn't I? No, but it's like, what is it controlling this? I don't know. Let's get a closer look. So the big chicken here as we're approaching is at a major intersection, one of the biggest intersections in Marietta, Rosal Road and Cobb Parkway, Highway 41. When it was first built, there wasn't a lot going on uh, on these roads, but it has... Just... Oh, that was weird. Looking in the center of it, it looks real derpy. Yeah, we'll give you a few details here. It was refurbished. This is like the newest look of it. You see the big, huge, big chicken sign right there up front. So we are here on road cam again, like our Martin's and Bojangles <laughs> video, link in that in the corner. But basically, we're here at the Big Chicken, closer to it now. We were actually over in a parking lot, way over there. So we are here now, finally. So we decided we are going to show you guys what's inside, what's going on in this magical building. And uh, also, this building was made in 1956. Funnily enough, that is 56 feet tall. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, this is like a remodeled version of what it was originally in 1956. Um, they added a patio. They actually did a $2 million refurb on this place um, in 2017. So that's why it has a little bit different look. You can go look at some old pictures online of when it was originally built. And um, it was actually originally built, oddly enough, for a restaurant called Chick, Chuck, and Shake. And then it was sold to a guy who franchised it as a KFC a few years later. So, little Georgia history there for you. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we're at the front door. This is pretty cool. It's got giant Remember spoons. Yeah, we got our mask on that. Giant spoons as the door handles. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Right when you walk in, you got the big chicken, Colonel Sanders. Gotta love it, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so they do have a gift shop over here. They got this little, whatever that is. Plush, it's a plush. And then they got some cups and some Mugs. cups. And then they got some hats, These Yeah. Are cool. Some I like how Christmas it's ornaments. The, I like how it's on this front of it, so it looks really weird. Yeah, for big chicken. That actually is a kind of a cool hat. And here are their prices, just to kind of give you an idea of what it costs to get some of these items here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool how they use the, the big chicken for the eye and the word big. And they have some other big things like shirts and aprons and t-shirts and socks. Look at those massive socks. That's pretty cool. That's like your socks. Ooh, and even some masks. Nothing like a big chicken mask. That's pretty awesome. I like that shirt. See, this is 63. Oh, does it? That's when it was established. But the actual chicken, like I said, was built in 62. Or what did I say? 56. 56. Okay, so it was in 1956 then when Chick Chuck and Shake was built originally. And then it became a, a KFC Big Chicken in 1963. So there's the actual full information of the chicken. Okay, so they have the craft that is here by stubborn st uh, please say i'm pronouncing that right but they have some cream sodas i bet all these are really good and then they have the pepsi drink machines which look to be down so <laughs> those aren't working and then we got some old pictures of the original kerner sanders no one has yet to figure out the secret recipe of the 11 herbs and sp herbs and spices um yeah sadly sadly and then they got this original celebrity um, sign right here. All of his per pictures. And then the light fixtures are some, they are painted to look like old chicken buckets. It's pretty cool. Thanks, don't be a stranger. And then there's the patio out here. Let's see if I can get a little view of this. It is closed, I think, maybe, for uh, 
the virus and stuff, but looks pretty nice out there. Here's a wider angle. Let me get that wide angle lens. Show you guys the kitchen area. It's a little wide angle lens for you guys. So here's the Colonel Sanders statue. A lot of people can take pictures in front of it. We actually did take a picture in front of it. We posted that on our Instagram. So make sure you guys go check out AC on the go on Instagram. But they do have some booths over here. Um, meet the world's number one chicken salesman. So look at the old pictures. They also have a painted version of the building when it was refurbished, which is pretty cool. Yeah, here's some old pictures. The original celebrity. That looks like the one that was the second refurbishment right there. Okay, so we just got one sandwich to split. Now, I'm not the, we're not the biggest fans of KFC in the first place, so... I mean, it's kind of like we just did it for the big chicken. Right. But we did have to get some food because it is a restaurant. Obviously, we love food. <laughs> yeah. But this is a chicken sandwich. Their new chicken sandwich here. And, um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so we did a chicken sandwich video, Popeyes vs. Chick-fil-A, when the Popeye sandwich was on top of the world. Make sure you guys go check that out. I think it's to that corner. Yeah, and we'll other corner I think. That's okay, we'll figure it out. But we'll we'll leave a link to um, at some point in this video, we'll just leave a link to our whole versus series playlist because we have a bunch of cool videos in there you can go check out. At least I have a knife though, unlike last <laughs> Bojangles. That's true, yeah. We we know your cutting skills without a knife. <laughs> I got good cutting skills with a knife. Though. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna go on Food Network as just a knife person. Uh oh. I'll just be like, there's chef's a knife. Yeah. Mm, boom. That looks that good was anyway. done. That was done with the plastic knife. Yeah, right there. that's a good cut right there. That looks pretty good. We'll give it a try. I know this pains you to do. <laughs> oh, hot. Yeah, it should be pretty fresh. I like some of these hand painted signs too, or not signs, but paintings that people have done. Those look pretty awesome when they did the refurb. It's not half bad. Yeah? Good. Well, that's good. What would you compare it to? Like, what restaurant would you say it's closest to? Not that this is a versus video, probably but KFC. like, probably KFC. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's the chicken itself is decent, but the breading is really good on the chicken, and obviously the bun's good. It's red. Right. So there, I did show the buckets, lights, or whatever, but this is a better angle. It does say eleven herbs and spices. As I was saying over there, by the pictures can't find the 11 herbs and spices to make the secret recipe. I actually watched a video on the 11 herbs and spices and the people have spent years of their lives trying to figure out the yeah. recipe. Um, but, wait, I think they, mm, yeah, but so basically the people tried different recipes that the people have made over the years. Mm -hmm. And one of the recipes, the highest rating was a 10 out of, eight out of 10 to closest now. And we just heard a report that KFC is about to enter into the 3D printing world and start using their spices with some chicken cells and vegetable products to create chicken nuggets out of 3D printer. So, I don't know that we'll be able to do that on the bed. <laughs> we just finished our chicken sandwich and it was pretty decent, all in all pretty good, but this is not a food video. This is building big chicken KFC Kentucky Fried in Marietta, Georgia chicken. <laughs> but yeah, so big chicken on a really fun place. I'm sure it was fun in every decade. They've had three refurbishments. But I'm sure it was amazing in each decade. Shout out to all my decades and people out there. And I might get some sirens any second now because I do see a fire truck with its lights flashing. So <laughs> let's just end this video. <laughs> so 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. So, don't forget to turn on the AC.